Today we're taking a look at the new Audi MMI navigation with touch response technology in the 2019 A6. Though this technology can also be found in a variety of 2019 Audi vehicles. So if you got linked here from a different car, don't panic. Everything you're about to learn is still relevant. And we got a lot of screens in front of us, so let's dig right in. Starting with the main display, a 10.1 inch touch display front and center in the dashboard. Now at 10 inches, it's a little bit smaller than the 12.3 inch units that a lot of the competition is using, but I find that the aspect ratio makes it a little bit more usable and it's not alone, so real estate isn't really at a premium here. Now the touch response portion of MMI refers to the haptic feedback you get when you click in on a virtual button on the display. It gives you an audible click and a little bit of a physical buzz that makes the virtual buttons feel like real buttons. It's kind of something you have to experience in order to really understand. Now the benefit of touch response is that you really have to click in on a button in order to get it to register as a physical click like you would with a physical button. And if you graze an icon, you don't necessarily go into that portion of the menu. That's good because when you're driving, you don't get false positives as you're sort of bumping along the road. But if you prefer a lighter touch, you can turn off touch response in a menu. Now along the edge closest to the driver, you have five shortcuts that are customizable and they are pretty much consistent. They'll be here no matter where you go in the interface. If you pop into the map, they'll be there. If you go into the radio, they'll be there as well. The rest of the interface uses large icons that are very easy to click. And one of the things that I really like about this system is that it's customizable. If you don't like the order that things are in, you can touch and hold and then just drag them in the order that you like them to be. So I'll put vehicle up here, for example. You can also reorganize the icons on the shortcut bar and drag new icons onto the shortcut bar. Maybe you never listen to the radio, but you want to get in the car menu. You can do that right here. Now, one of the things you may notice for this generation is that there's no physical MMI control knob for this generation. It's an all touch affair. And in a lot of ways, the second 8.6 inch display serves as the replacement for that control knob. Here is where you'll interact with things like shortcuts for your favorite radio stations, contacts, or destinations. You can also adjust some of the different driver aid features on the top bar here. Mostly, however, it's where you'll interact with the climate controls, and it's a nice reach from the shift lever, which doubles as an armrest for this generation. And if you're searching for a destination on the top screen, the lower display serves as a touchpad where you can write in alphanumerics for your destination. T-A-C-O-S. You can also set it to function as a keyboard if you prefer to QWERTY it on up. Now the last screen we're going to talk about today is Audi's virtual cockpit. This 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster isn't dramatically different from last year, but it's got a little more horsepower behind it, so it operates a tad more smoothly. You can customize it to show anything from maps for navigation, vehicle information like fuel economy or trip data, or radio presets or audio sources. And you control all of it with these buttons on the left hand side of the steering wheel. Now what I like is with all of your favorites and presets right here in the instrument cluster, you can do a lot of the infotainment tasks that you need without ever taking your eyes too far off the road or your hands off the wheel. Of course, the voice command functions have also been updated so you can use natural language and say things like navigate to the nearest gas station or I'm cold and the car will actually bump up the temperature a few degrees. So there's been your look at the latest generation of Audi MMI navigation with touch response in the 2019 Audi A6 and a variety of other contemporary Audi vehicles. Be sure to check out our full review over on theroadshow.com for more driving impressions and details about this car, or maybe check out one of our other tech checks to see how competitors like Mercedes-Benz's Command or BMW's iDrive stack up.